Hey guys, just thought I'd give you an update on the SX750 that I'm slowly piecing back together. Uh, I did some troubleshooting on the weekend and I discovered that the reason why it was offsetting 7 volts was because of a failure in the right channel. And uh, the only reason why it was only 7 volts is that the emitter resistor down here uh, was about 320K. And uh, so I replaced it with a series a parallel combination of uh, 4.47 ohm resistors I had in stock since I didn't have a 0.55 watt. Uh, then I discovered that uh, all these capacitors which I've replaced here were pretty much all bad. Uh, there wasn't one that was really uh, usable. I changed those out and I have a feeling that those were primarily killed by heat uh, because the board where the emitter resistor died had been heavily uh, discolored and was all dry and crusty and terrible. Uh, the reason why the emitter resistor failed was because of a collector emitter short on the PNP device of the right channel. Uh, and thankfully I had a parts unit with a, a good set of alpha transistors that I put in there. Uh, when you have a failure of a directly coupled amplifier like this one, you always have to check for leakage uh, between uh, base and collector. Because oftentimes if the transistor is allowed to short too long, uh, the junctions break down, and uh, or, or if it of its shorts collector base, then the uh, current uh, will will flow into the driver stage, reverse bias the transistors, and can damage the drivers too. So you'll get a big surprise when you replace the outputs without checking the drivers, and the thing blows up again. So uh, I've replaced the output transistors and uh, the aforementioned support components. I've got it on my poor man's variac over here with a light bulb, and we're just going to see what it does. And the, uh, the light bulb went bright and goes dim, which is exactly what I want. So now I'll take my fluke and let's see, where's my ground lead? We'll find a good ground here. I guess for now I'll stick this in here. And we'll go to our left channel, 35 millivolts, right channel, 44 millivolts. So, we have fixed the amplifier, which makes me very happy. So now I can focus on the other problems, which include the uh, protection circuit, uh, regulated supply, and AM radio sections. And uh, I'll dial in the rest of the amplifier as time goes on, and we'll see what else we can turn up. Until then, stay tuned.